day, everybody. It is Claxon here, and if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe for more Miraculous Ladybug videos. Today, I am going to be doing my reaction and my discussion to Rocketeer, which I think is episode 15, and so we are actually getting, like, some chronological order these past couple of weeks, and so that's great. Remember that if you want to support these videos, you should check out the Patreon or becoming a YouTube membership member, because, like, none of these videos are monetized. They're all monetized by the company that makes Miraculous, and so that's fine, but they do take a while to make and I don't really get anything for doing them other than my own enjoyment and pride obviously and so I really do make them like for me but also for you guys like there's basically at this point no other incentive to make them and so you know it's a series that I'm passionate about and so if y'all could support me that way that would be great I also have a like calaxon.com site that I use when I'm twitch streaming sometimes people send tips in there while I'm streaming but you can send a tip while I'm not streaming so that is just uh, an idea of something that y'all could do or watch my other miraculous videos because those get to be monetized so my theories stuff like that and so that would really help as well and if you're subscribed you'll get notified about those theories of course without further ado let us just get into it okay <laughs> well that's interesting like you know just as a place to start we got dinosaurs oh carapace and cat noir working together that's great oh is she like a scientist? I'm so lost. Oh, look at Cat Noir. Wow, this episode looks great. Like, the animation looks different. Or maybe it's just a higher quality than I usually see. I don't know. Wait, what? What is this episode? I'm so confused. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh Rena Rouge incognito in the shadows. That's so cool. Oh, what's wrong, Nino? Oh, what's the matter? Oh, oh. <gasps> he seems a little, <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe he's worried that Ladybug and Marinette are having a fun, or not Ladybug and Marinette. Maybe he's worried that Ladybug and Rena Rouge are having a fight, you know? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, even Nino! Oh, not even Nino! Oh no, that's so sad! See, but Marinette doesn't understand. That's not how relationship- Exactly! That's what I was saying in my other discussion, is that Nino and Alia don't keep secrets. This is gonna fray their relationship! Whereas Marinette and Adrian always lie to each other! Ah! Oh! Oh no! He thinks that she's gonna break up with him! No! That's not it! Oh! 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 Oh, okay!
she's shifting to Cat Noir because she can't post about Ladybug anymore. Oh no. I mean, Ollie is right though. Cat Noir should get more attention. But what if he thinks. No! <laughs> That's not good. Why? Oh no, she just. <laughs> Noir, but now his best friend 
friend just said that his cat noir side, the real Adrian, is annoying. So that's not good, right? For my Adrian Adrian theory and my cat noir reveal to Nino theory. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah oh, damn, Adrian just got slapped. Oh no, the irony, I can't take this anymore. villains they respond to like other stuff too and we've seen that in the past but like what <laughs> like you know what I mean like yes the world has magic the world has superpowers but like this scientist just brought back the dinosaurs like all by herself or something you know what I mean and so I get it like it's you know a quote-unquote like kid show obviously I think the majority of the fandom were all teenagers and young adults right but like at the same time I'm just like bro like what is this <laughs> like I just like I don't I do not understand like this is just normal Paris and so I thought that that was just kind of funny and so yeah so they were able to uh stop the dinosaurs by blowing I guess her special like dino whistle that she created and so yeah no uh no akumatization here this is just 
reality. <laughs> That's where I'm like, I'm um, okay, right? And so uh, then we also have a, what I'm assuming is a Jurassic Park joke in a couple minutes. But before we get to that, we have Nino and he's kind of looking like off to the side, you know, he's kind of looking away. I think that he's, you know, lamenting the fact that Alia isn't there with them, that he looks pretty sad. Obviously, this is a great picture of Cat Noir though. Uh, is everything okay, Carapace? And so she picks up on it right away. And so see, that's the thing about Ladybug in these episodes is that she picks up when something's wrong with someone right away, but, like, even still, they don't necessarily, like, uh, you know, talk to her about it. And so I feel like that's interesting, because she did notice that something was wrong with Cat Noir, but he would not open up to her about it, and I feel like that that's kind of, like, playing into the miscommunication issues, is that people won't be upfront, but at the same time, will people be upfront with you if they think that you will invalidate their feelings or react poorly? And so I feel like that that's, you know, Cat Noir's whole thing right now is that, yes, like, Ladybug did ask him if he was okay. He, uh, you know, uh, she noticed that something was wrong with him, but he doesn't want to talk about it with her yet because, uh, you know, he's afraid of her reaction, I think. I think that's basically what's going on with them. But anyway, and so, uh, Carapace is like, uh, no, you know, like, everything's fine, and so they do their little pound it. Uh, have fun with your dinosaur! And I'm just like, but why, though? Why, though, sis? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, sometimes, I just, I don't, anyway. And so then we have, uh, again, the, uh, Jurassic Park thing. Uh, let me buy them from you, send them to an island and build a theme park. I'm gonna make them rich, right? And so this guy is the TV producer guy from a couple episodes ago. So maybe he's just, like, an entrepreneur or, like, some sort of investor or something. Like, he was ready, you know? And so, anyway, this part of the episode's pretty irrelevant. Then we get to see Rena Rouge in her new outfit. I'm not entirely sure what they're gonna call her yet, just because I did see, like, uh, what it was translated to, like, subtitles title-wise, but, like, uh, throughout the different languages, everyone kind of has a slightly different name, so if anyone knows the official, like, English, uh, superhero name that she has now, that would be great, but I love this. I love her outfit. I love her hair. I love how, like, they're sort of going into the whole, like, your outfit is what you perceive as heroic, right? And so I feel like that that's just really cool, because you have this whole thing of your cognition is what impacts your costume, right? And so in, um, uh, Viperion, that whole thing, right? The reason why I think Adrian has that sort of costume where it covers his hair is because, like, his cognition is like, I'm not Cat Noir right now, I'm acting as Adrian and I need to cover up. Like, that was his mindset. So that's the kind of outfit that was given to him by his own brain, right? Whereas Luca has, like, a different costume than he does. Like, they're similar, but they're not the same. And so your cognition changes how you're outfit looks and I feel like that that's pretty interesting because you see like oh how Adrian wants to look as like Cat Noir versus how he wanted to look using the snake miraculous it had that outfit because he wanted to be incognito you could say and so now with Alia it's kind of the same thing where she has this like whole camo thing and can change into a bunch of different colors I think it's just really really cool and it's because her cognition is now like she's not Rena Rouge anymore she's like an undercover spy and I really really like that so neat Nino gives the miraculous back and obviously he's still upset and so she's like there's something wrong isn't there so again I think that like where people got tripped up I think um just from what I've been seeing like a lot of people think that Ladybug is basically like very much in the wrong and we'll talk about that for like a bunch of things like people have their grievances especially in reaction to how Cat Noir feels this episode but like to her credit she does pick up when something's wrong it's the other party's responsibility to then like explain and like make their feelings heard. The thing with Cat Noir is is that he hasn't really done that but then you could also argue that that's because of maybe uh you know his perception of Ladybug is unwilling to like communicate with him or like he thinks that she'll have again a poor reaction right and so I feel like that the whole crux of this is just really miscommunication like nobody is right and nobody is wrong it's just that like each party perceives the other in a different way where they should really just like sit down and talk about it you know? Yeah. 
And so we'll get into that. And so uh, Nino says, so uh, why wasn't Alia, I mean, Rena Rouge with us today? And you see the panic on her face because we needed you and only you. And he's kind of like, like, really? Like, he seems happy because remember, later in this episode, he talks about how as his uh, first carapace mission, he kind of like fucked up, like from his perspective, that's how he felt, right? And so now to know that like, you know, like you're such a great superhero, Nino, like, you know, we only needed you because you're so good as carapace. It probably made him feel a little better when we see that he's very insecure this episode about like whether or not he actually has been doing a good job as a hero. But you still kind of see that he's not like convinced, you know, like he kind of looks downward and he seems a little bit sad, like he's still, you know, upset about it. Or maybe he thinks like, oh, you know, Ladybug thinks I'm a good hero, but like, you know, what about Ollie? I wish that she would think so highly of Alia so Alia could be with us, you know? Like I'm sure that that's kind of his thought process. Were we followed? or were there signs of any of uh, Shadow Moth's traps? I didn't see anything. So now, like, Alia is basically on, like, uh, lookout duty, if you will. Now that they know that stuff like Otagami has been following them and things like that, now she's looking out for traps so they can safely detransform and everything like that. Alia, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, you noticed. It's crazy how my costume adapted to my new role, right? And I love that. I love that. I love that for us. I love it here. It's great. Uh, and it even gave me an idea for a new name. And so she says, uh, Rina um, fur Furtiviv. And I think that it's supposed to be like, not fugitive, but like, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I feel like it's supposed to be a pun because there's fur in it, but it could also be like a different language translation. So I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to be, but I've never seen that word before. So I don't know. I'm a little bit confused, but let me know what that means. I, I think that like they will probably like announce like uh, what her new uh, hero name is but it's a secret. We agreed that the Fox Miraculous has no official owner. Alia, did you tell Nino that you will never be Rena Rouge anymore, right? Uh, and so that's a little bit of a confusing uh, translate. Oh, wait. Uh, all I think that it means, Alia, you did tell Nino that you won't be Rena Rouge anymore, right? Like, not did you. It's supposed to be you did, right? And that can be a little bit confusing, but it's like you did tell him right? Like, I think that's what it's supposed to be, and the answer is obviously no. Alia, everyone needs to believe that you will never use a Miraculous again, because that way you can be our spy undercover, and I will help you with my power of illusion. If uh, Shadow Bob tries to follow you, or if he shows up, I can follow him. I know, I know. So she's basically like, yeah, yeah, like, that's the plan, I know. And so that's a very interesting plan, though, because, like, I hope that that will come into play later on. Probably not this season, like, I doubt they'll find out Hawk Moth's identity this season, but, like, in the future, it would be nice if they nabbed him and saw him going back to Gabriel uh, Aggress's house, and they would be like, um, that's a little suspicious, <laughs> you know, like maybe we should investigate that more. I don't know, right? And so I feel like that's really interesting. Uh, for our plan to work, no one could know. And with no one, I mean no one. Even Nino needs to believe that you won't be Rena Rouge again. And so what's fascinating about this at least to me, right, is the fact that, like, we kind of talked about this in the previous discussions and theories, was this idea that the reason why, um, you know, Ladybug and Cat Noir, and even as their civilian identities, why they haven't, like, gotten together yet, in a way, is because of, like, the secrets that are kept between them, or even why the other couples broke up, right? Not even, like, you know, the Ladybug and Cat Noir stuff, but just, like, the reason why Marinette broke up with Luca, and the reason why Adrian got broken up with by Kagami, has been because of secrets like that has basically been the crux of everything is secrets but something that I pointed out before is that Alia and Nino have no secrets between each other so their relationship is good so I predicted all the way back when like all of this started happening was that Alia would now find herself in a very similar situation to what Marinette has been in the entire time and they do go into that when they're uh, in the room together, right? And so I feel like that that's super interesting just because like that is like the crux of everything is that like Alia had the luxury of basically having between her and Nino what Cat Noir and Ladybug could not. They both knew each other's identities as superheroes, right? They both knew they were superheroes, like all of that sort of stuff. And not only were they both superheroes, but they knew that they were both superheroes and they knew the like the identity of each other 
together as superheroes, right? And that's more than, like, Cat Noir and Ladybug can ever have because of the gravity of, like, the two wish holders or the two wish makers, I guess, knowing each other's identity, right? And so that's a whole other conversation that we need to talk about because some people are getting on, like, Marinette's ass about that, but I feel like that people forgot, like, the gravity of the situation because... I've seen a lot of posts saying that, like, oh, you know, Marinette's so hypocritical. She let, like, Alia and Nino know each other's identities. But, like, it's fine for them. Like, they're collateral damage. And I'm sorry to say it, but, like, it's kind of true. Like, they are just not as important as the wish-making miraculous. Like, if Nino gets akumatized and it's like, hey, Hawk Moth, Alia's Rena Rouge. Like, yes, is that bad? Kinda. But is it the same as Cat Noir being akumatized and then Hawk Moth finding out out that he's actually Adrian, like, via akumatization, right? And then him being like, oh, by the way, I know who Ladybug is, too. Like, the whole thing is that the reason why Cat Noir and Ladybug knowing each other's identities is bad is because if one of them gets akumatized, like, it's basically all over. And some people, even when Alia got told, were complaining that Cat Noir couldn't know, right? Like, oh, Cat Noir's her partner. He should have been the one to know. But, like, if Alia gets akumatized... Even if she did, all she knows is Ladybug's identity, right? And so Cat Noir could, I don't know, <laughs> he could go into hiding, he could throw his miraculous into the ocean, like, like, you know, it's not ideal, but, like, when you think about it that way, it's like, Alia still only has one piece of the puzzle, only has one half of the identities. If Cat Noir and Ladybug tell each other, that's suddenly, like, a whole of the identities. Like, Hawk Moth gets two identities for the price of one, right? And so that's what we have to keep in mind, that it's it's just not great optics, sis, you know? Like, it's just different. It's different for Nino and Alia to know each other's identities, and it's different for Alia to know Marinette's identity, because the Cat Noir and Ladybug identity exchange is much more harmful and much more dangerous. However, some people did point out that, like, all Ladybug has really said is that they, like, superhero identities are meant to be kept secret. She hasn't specified. So really, I feel like this is a lack of miscommunication. Like, should Adrian know? I feel like he should know. You know what I mean? Like, he should know why it's different. And I feel like that something that really bugged me about this episode is that instead of Plague being like, hey, bro, you know, like, we're the two most important miraculouses. Like, you know, calm down. Like, he was just like, you know, we're all Marinette's cheese on the big plate of life. And I was like, really, Plague? Like, you have been alive for this many years? You can't offer, like, realistic and serious, like, reasoning in this moment? So that's the only thing that kind of bothered me was Plague, right? Because I feel like that the whole thing is that it's not even necessarily, like, the identity thing. It's more like that Cat Noir's constantly kept out of the loop of, like, all of these decisions. And so I feel like that that's fair. Like, it's fair for Adrian to be upset at the fact that he's been kept out of the loop and everything, but I feel like that Adrian should know better about, like, the whole identity swap thing because they know that they're the wish-making miraculous. Like, they know that it's ten times more serious. And I feel like that's what it'll get into. It'll be like, like, are you mad just because, like, Nino and Alia can know, but we can't know? Like, you understand why we can't know, right? And Cat Noir will probably be like, yeah, like, I know why we can't know, but I just want to know what's going on. Like, I feel like that that's going to be the whole thing, is that, like, Ladybug's going to assume that it's because of, like, Nino and Alia's relationship that they're able to have, whereas it's really for Cat Noir maybe more about trust, right? He's jealous that Nino and Alia can kind of have that, but, like, him and Ladybug can't have it and he's upset, even though he knows, like, that there's logical reasoning why. So it's gonna be interesting to see how things progress. But anyway, why did we start talking about this? Right, it's because I was saying how, like, Nino and Alia have no secrets, which is why their relationship has been so stable, right? Like, again, like, Alia's literally saying right here that they have no secrets, and so that's exactly what I predicted. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, it's too late to do that, and that's no lie. Girl, I don't just lie to my boyfriend, and if he finds out, he will never trust me again. See, that's also concerning for foreshadowing as well, just because it's like, if Ladybug lies to Cat Noir and stuff, like, what if he never trusts her again, and it's kind of like, like, there's something going on uh, with all of that sort of stuff, you know, like, foreshadowing towards their relationship, too. But see, like, Marinette does make a good point. I had to lie to my best friend for a long time as well, so you know how I feel. Like, sorry, Alia, but by being in on the secret, you're also in on the burden. Like, y'all had the luxury before. Like, the luxury is gone, right? 
And so I feel like that this is a pretty fair point, is that, like, Alia has elevated status, and now she is in the same bad position as, like, Marinette was. But she's able to resolve that by telling Nino, like, enough of the truth, right? She doesn't need to be like, oh, by the way, I'm the backup guardian, and Marinette is Ladybug to be, you know, not keeping uh, secrets from each other. She just had to, like, explain, like, the Rena Rouge thing, and that was enough, right? And so I feel like that there's a good balance. Like, Alia achieved balance, and that's what, like, fixed their relationship, you know? between keeping secrets that need to be kept and telling the truth when you can kind of like show a good like a show of good faith to your partner and tell them the truth so I thought that that was really interesting that she was able to do that and so then Tom just wants to play video games so I feel so bad for this man because all he wants to do is play with his kids but apparently they haven't played in like months together and so see I feel like that this is foreshadowing to the parents getting akumatized because all season Okay, they've been observing Marinette's weird behavior, and now, like, Marinette's not spending any time with them anymore. They may feel like, oh, our little girl's growing up, and she's, like, you know, not good enough, uh, we're not good enough for her anymore. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, that sort of, like, we're not cool enough to hang out with anymore. Like, I feel like that their feelings are definitely gonna be hurt sometime this season. So Marinette says that they have to do their homework, and he says, again, those teachers give you way too much homework, right? And she just, like, kicks him out of her room, and I feel so bad for him. See, I even have to lie to my family. It's been months since I've played with my dad and I feel so bad for her. I just want her to play video games. She should just have a day off, but we don't have an option. We have to protect our secret identities. All right, fine, I'll talk to Nino. And see, the other thing about telling Nino is that now he has an anti-akumatization charm, so, like, it's kind of fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine for him to know that, like, Rena Rouge is undercover and stuff. Like, I feel like that that's fine, um, especially because he has the charm, and we'll talk about that later, because I kind of abandon, like, the whole, like, Cat Noir will tell Nino theory, but now I'm kind of like, but now Nino can't be a Akumatized, right? Like, Alia can still be akumatized. Ladybug can technically, like, we know why he can't tell her. But what about Nino? Because now he has the charm. So Cat Noir may be like, hey, he's like low risk. I can tell him the truth. He's my best friend. I don't know. But there is something later that I think points against that, actually. And so that means there's only one idea left, and that's Adrian telling Marinette. But we will get there. So let's talk about this scene first. And so uh, Nino wants to play Super Pinguino, which is, again, a reference um, to... Oh, God damn it! What episode was it? Oblivio. It's a, a reference to Oblivio and how they got, like, akumatized that one time, right? Okay, but we need to talk first. And so he thinks that, like, they're breaking up because she says, if I do this, everything between us might change, right? And so she's saying, like, the exact same thing that Marinette had said to her, right? And so I like that little, like, callback, right? Oh, no, don't say it. Anything but this. So he thinks that they're gonna break up because, like, that would change the nature of their friendship. You know what I mean? It would be super awkward. You don't love me anymore. And then Nino's all sad. And she's like, no, of course I love you. What is it then? Uh, Nino, this is about our secret identities. Look, I talked to Ladybug and I'm no longer Rena Rouge and I'll never be her again. Ladybug will never give me my miraculous again. She thinks it's too dangerous, right? And so then he's like, oh, okay, that makes sense, <laughs> right? And he seemed like so, like, uh, recovered, if that makes sense. It was weird of you not to be with us this time. Um, of course, that's super sad, but, uh, if it is what Ladybug thinks is best for you, and I like that he gives her a hug, why were you so afraid to tell me? You know you can tell me anything and nothing can change that, Alia, right? And this makes her feel, like, really guilty, <laughs> you know, obviously. But, again, she finds balance. She doesn't, like, spill all of the beans to Nino, but she is actually like more truthful and honest with him after this episode and I feel like that that's nice like I feel like that that's the thing is that it's not about like telling everything it's about like finding balance like coming to a compromise after miscommunication you did the right thing it is safer and we can protect our secrets yeah perhaps it's better this way and then she looks at Nino and feels super guilty so Nino was saying goodbye to Adrian they're having a little you know fist bump thing see ya dude uh pretty soon our night walk starts if you know what I mean and so that's basically like their night patrol so I guess when Ladybug and Cat Noir go on patrol Alia's gonna be like hanging around which would be super awkward, by the way, if they have a fight next episode, like, a lot of people think that they're gonna argue with each other, or, like, in the future, and Ollie is just there, like, mm, 
and she like she's just hiding and she's just like guys don't do this that would be so funny but it would be so awkward and so I can't wait anyway uh and so yeah they're basically talking about their secret plans and so then she says oh I wanted to show you something I took some selfies with my new costume there are thousands uh, a thousand details you haven't seen and so it transforms into other colors as well which I think is super cool and I just love it like it's beautiful stunning radiant like Alia a queen like you know we have no choice but to stand it so she's like Alia and I kind of like I do uh think that Marinette was a bit too harsh here because like think about it right Alia is now like in your like very uh tight inner circle right she's the only one that knows like let the girl vent to someone right like she like you're the only person that she can talk to and so like at least let her talk to you about it that's the only thing where I was like mm. I think that she's just worried about the pictures like at all because now like Ollie is like oh I can make a poll on the lady blog so that people can vote for their favorite and so then she's like Alia like no invisible fox no one can see these pictures right and so I do wish that Marinette was like but you could always talk to me though like I'll always be here for to listen you know but like she does like kind of like comfort her so I guess it's okay but that's what I was sort of thinking is I wish that like Marinette would be a bit more open to this because like sis Ollie is the only person like you know that she like Alia only has you to talk to about this is what I'm trying to say so then she says but at least I still have Cat Noir stunts if I edit them well and so then she trashes the photo yes that's a great idea come on let's go and so then we hear like Nino vision if that makes sense because it goes back and so then he hears like you know Alia having this conversation with Marinette Marinette and everything and like how she's sort of uh sad you know like how she is uh lamenting over that and so I feel like that you know he he's worried about her she lost her role as a superhero now the lady blog stuff is like harder to do and everything and so I like how Marinette encourages her to go and like have some free time because that's more than Marinette has like apparently Marinette has like no free time which I'm still surprised at because she says that she hasn't played games with her parents but I'm like Marinette what do you have to do until like this time you know what I mean like what do you have to do until you meet up with Alia like I guess I guess she has to do her homework right but still like you know like take some time for yourself too sis but I do like how they're like you know look she like looks at him so excitedly and I thought that that was really cute so they are watching the movie and I feel like that it's so cool that it's a callback to like the original concept but Nino's like what about carapace do they forget about carapace hmm and I think that that's kind of interesting because we see that Nino also has like insecurities as carapace later in this episode Episode when he's talking to Adrian so and then you have this like I guess that the writers think that like Rena Rouge is like you know I wonder if this was a part of the original concept or if this is new animation because I've never seen this before like was the original concept like a love triangle between like Cat Noir is in love with Ladybug but Rena Rouge is in love with Cat Noir like was that originally like in the thing or did they just make that because this does look like new compared to like the original like look at like you know the stuff from before if we can go back like look at this like this is like definitely the old version of the show right whereas like this like I don't know like that just looks different so I wonder if that was like was that legit was that like in the concept before to have a love triangle and then in real life Marinette and Alia are obviously friends so it's a little bit like awkward you know anyway I don't know and I love Nino's reaction because he's like Rita Rouge in love with Cat Noir that <laughs> this is utterly ridiculous I love like the Chloe reaction and so I feel like that this is where he starts to get suspicious though because like Ollie is like oh you know like oh it's just a cartoon like don't worry about it right but like that adding up with her other behavior seems like like she's hiding something almost right and you see that Nino is suspicious because she keeps looking at her phone do you want me to drive you home and I was just like Nino do you have a car can you drive like I'm confused maybe they took their uh, bicycles I'm not sure Marinette rode on the back of Luca's bike a couple times Time, so maybe that's what he means because I'm like Nino you have a car like what is happening uh that thing you showed to Marinette on the phone looked pretty nice but like you didn't see it <laughs> what was it like you didn't see it though sis and so that's what I'm confused 
confused about it. I feel like he's lying. I feel like that he's li He's like, oh yeah, that thing. What was the thing? So she'll tell him about the thing, but he didn't actually see the thing, right? Like it's like reverse psychology. I don't know. Um, look, Andre's here. Would you like some ice cream? But then Ollie is like, yeah, sure. Like, you know, I would like some ice cream, which is nice too, is that she, you know, they almost had like tension for a minute, but like she's still like, oh yeah, like, you know, Marinette hasn't texted me yet, so I can still spend time with Nino. But obviously Ladybug is like up there calling to Alia, which I thought this was funny because she was like, eh, eh, eh. Like with her hand, she was like, come up here. And I really thought, I uh, thought that was funny. And so yeah, then she's just like, okay, I just remembered I had homework. And I'm like, how does this work, sis? You're in the same class. Like, does Nino not know the homework that you get? You know, like in the volume of said homework? Like clearly, like, uh, why does this keep working? It shouldn't. And so then Nino sees that Cat Noir is like, you know, majestically like flying through the air. And he's just like, oh man, like that's not good. Because like all the leaves as soon as Cat Noir starts to like appear in the sky, right? And then you have these little kids that are like uh, reenacting the movie, right? And so fine, but I'm Cat Noir and the girls love me and I'm just like, okay, okay, oh boy, like this is not, this is just not good. This is not good at all. So then Alia creates a video. Everyone talks about Ladybug, but nobody talks about Cat Noir. He's a super uh, hero, super amazing. <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, she meant super amazing superhero. It's probably just like the language and how it orders like uh, verbs and stuff like that, because that sounds like more alliteration for this uh, YouTube video on the Lady Blog, right? He's a super amazing superhero, super brave, funny, cute, like that makes more sense. And so she's just trying to appeal to the demographic, Nino, okay? Don't worry. Coming soon, a photo collage of some of the most incredible uh, acrobatics by a superhero as amazing as a charming prince, right? And so I'm just like, she's probably doing this because she can't talk about Ladybug anymore. And so she's like, what's left? And that's so funny too, because like, I feel like the Cat Noir, like, yes, you know, people say that, oh, he gets, like, shafted compared to, like, Ladybug in terms of, like, the news. But I feel like that Adrian has already been in the public eye as Adrian, that that was actually a relief to not get as much of the spotlight, right? And so now, like, you have this from Alia, and it's kind of like, well, now you're doing the same thing. Like, Cat Noir is famous on both ends, and, like, Adrian's probably like, bro, I've had enough. Like, all the girls are chasing me because of this acrobatic photo collage, <laughs> right? I can imagine something like that happening. <laughs> and so then, Nino decides to call Adrian, and what's funny is, like, isn't this the bridge where Luca got akumatized and took Marinette, like, in the breakup episode? But anyway, and so then we see Adrian. She's in love with someone else. You two spend all the time together. You must be imagining things. And then, uh, who would she possibly be in love with, Nino? Cat Noir! And that's, like, that was the first thing where I was just like, oh my god, like, we're really going there. Look at his face! And he starts laughing, and he's like, that's cool, and how about Jagged Stone's Crocodile? I didn't know what this meant. I think that it's supposed to be, oh yeah, like, an I'm, you know, Jagged Stone's Crocodile, or something like that. Like, I feel like that that was a little lost in translation right there. It was kind of like, oh, you know, if you're such and such, like, I'm the Queen of England, like, sarcastic, like, Adrian's being sarcastic. But you saw the video, it's just a video on the lady blog that doesn't prove anything. I will find proof and you will see that I'm right. <laughs> There's no way he will. Oh, yes, there is. My natural charisma has definitely contaminated you. And I'm like, okay, flag. Thanks. Do you think I exaggerated the cat's charm and made her fall in love with me accidentally? And so that's interesting is that he sees it as an exaggeration where I thought, like, not that it was like, like, true Adrian personality, but that he at least, like, felt that way, like, a little bit. So that's interesting, is that, yes, like, that is kind of who he is, but he exaggerated it and played it up, like, for his, like, character, I guess, right? And so I think that that's kind of interesting. And so he's, like, panicked about this now, and he's like, oh, well, gotta go make sure, because this is not good. And so then we have Nino's insecurities. Nino's insecurities, right? Because he says, who would want a reckless turtle as a partner, right? So, like, the whole, like, oh, you know, carapace thing of, like, oh, like, a carapace isn't in the movie because, like, obviously, like, the, I guess, like, he thinks, oh, carapace isn't in the movie, obviously, because, like, he's not good enough, I'm not good enough. 
stuff compared to like Rena Rouge, you know? And so I feel like that he's like insecure. Then there's the whole thing about like the first time of him like going into battle wasn't the greatest, right? Uh, and that is how she ripped my heart apart. I love this, by the way. Like this was like this episode's animation was like like um unreal right and like you have this like very like noir detective film stuff and like saxophone love song music and there i was with my old friends again the city night and solitude and i wonder if this is supposed to be an homage to the fake solitude movie like that's in the canon of the show right because like the last thing that emily starred in was solitude right? And, like, this is talking about solitude, and it was the same, like, black and white, like, type movie, so now I'm like, mm -hmm. like, is that a reference? Could that be, like, part of what, like, the original solitude movie was about? Like, could it have, like, you know, relevant somehow? Like, was it a love story, or, like, a, a love breakup story, or a detective story? Like, who knows? It was time to end the lies and the secrets. <laughs> I love the mustache! That was so funny. Oh, man, but yeah, what a good animated scene. Like, what a great gag. I thought that was hilarious. And then, like, Cat Noir just shows up at Alia's house, and Nino starts to record, right? What's up? Did something happen? No, no, everything's fine. It's just that I saw you posted a new video about me which made me happy really but I keep thinking and I love his little like because he's actually you know pretty awkward right uh you've been following Ladybug and me since the very beginning you uh take pictures videos and we have even saved you a few times uh what I'm trying to say is that now uh we know each other much better so he didn't know that she was Reno Rouge right that's what at first I thought that he knew but he didn't he didn't know until Nino told him right uh so I started to notice a few things I hope it's just my illusion I think it means imagination you know like I hope it's my imagination but like you know and so I feel like actually it may be illusion because she's like illusion what illusion I'm not Rena Rouge what who illusions who so I think that that's actually kind of funny if that's what it was supposed to be it's kind of hard to explain but I wanted to make sure that in all the time you spent admiring me you didn't start feeling right? And so I thought that that was so hilarious. Something for me. Look at how awkward he is. I mean, I understand. Like, he's like, but you know, don't feel bad about it. Like, I understand. Just look at me. Like, I thought that that was great. A uh, what? Feel what for you, right? Oh, you know. And then he does like a little heart. And I thought that this was so cute. And so then she starts laughing and Nino is like, oh my god. Like, he's stealing my woman with his charms, you know? And so anyway, that aside, are you crazy? I already have a boyfriend, and just, uh, for you to know, uh, with him it's not just that, it's more of a big heart, right? And so then, Nino probably thinks that she's making a big heart back to him, right? I'm sorry, I was just confused, and so they hug it out, and then they go home, but he's, like, obviously, you know, not very happy. I'm sorry, Cat Noir, but my Nino is 1,000 times more irresistible than you, but there's something in here that I think is really interesting, and, like, oh, poor Nino is just like, you know, because she's like, it almost looks like flirting if you didn't understand what was going on. And I don't even know your secret identity. I would never fall in love with someone I don't know, right? And so I feel like that, I did see someone get upset that Alia said that to him, that said that to Cat Noir, but like, we have to keep in mind that Alia is just speaking for herself. However, I think now that is making Cat Noir reconsider his relationship with Ladybug. Like the fact, like Alia just put it in perspective, right? She wasn't trying to make him feel bad about being in love with Ladybug. She just said, I would never do that. Like, I would never fall in love with someone I don't know. But that just put things in perspective with Cat Noir that maybe he doesn't know Ladybug after all. And that maybe, I think, I have a theory, and we'll talk about it in here a little bit, but I am gonna make a theory probably for Monday or whenever I feel better. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm like, I'm like, uh, my throat does not sound 100% today. Probably from all the screaming from yesterday. Anyway. That aside, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I have a theory that Cat Noir will fall out of love with Ladybug is basically uh, what I'm getting at. That's why I wanted to talk about that, because I think that he is going to start, like, falling out of love uh, with her, and that's, like, a piece of foreshadowing. And so Adrian sees the bubbles, and, like, that leads him to Nino, which I thought was uh, interesting. Hi, Nino, I have to tell you something. So I don't know how Adrian was gonna be like, oh, Alia doesn't like Cat Noir, actually. Like, how would Adrian know that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I wonder what he was gonna say, if that makes sense. No, I have to tell you something. And, like, he looks so upset, and so... <laughs> 
I love this. Again, like, great humor this episode and everything. The animation and the lighting. Like, everything was so cool. And when did you arrange all this? And he, like, smacks the bubble thingy down. Um, I asked the questions. Do you remember what I told you yesterday? Now I have proof, right? So at first I was like, oh, shit. Like, did he just put two? Not again, sir. Do not. Mm -mm. I'm leaving it there. I don't care anymore. I, that happened already once in the recording and I already put it back up. Sorry, Sora, but if you don't want to stay up for Miraculous, you're going to stay like that. Sorry. Anyway, so I thought that he was like, you know, it's kind of suspicious that I told you as Adrian about the Cat Noir thing and then Cat Noir goes to visit Alia. Like, I thought that's where he was going with it, but instead he was like, but I have proof, actually. And so then Adrian looks like so like, you know, uh, uh, shocked, I guess. What? It doesn't make any sense. You are mistaken. It didn't happen like that. But it's like, but how did you know? How do you know uh, you were there? Are you involved? <laughs> no, of course not. But that is impossible. I'm sure it's just a misunderstanding. Uh, and uh, Alia and Cat Noir have nothing in common and barely know each other. Alia is just a superhero fan. She just records uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir, nothing more. They know each other really well, but nobody knows Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identity. Can you even imagine Alia falling in love with someone that she barely knows? And so see, that's like the whole thing too, is that now he's parroting back what Alia said, and it's gonna be like, well, wait a minute, I fell in love with someone I don't know. Like, can't, like, am I really in love with Ladybug or am I in love with the idea of Ladybug? <laughs> Uh, the girl wants to be a reporter who always wants to know the truth at any price, right? And so, like, you know, like, how could she fall in love with someone who keeps that big of a secret when she is such, like, a journalist, right? The one that tells everything to the boy that she loves. Adrian is really trying to reinforce, like, hey, Alia wouldn't do that. That's not in character for her. And I think a lot of people were very hard on Nino for being so insecure, especially because Alia has never really given him a reason, like, not to trust her. But I feel like what people need to understand is that, like, the insecurity isn't even really about Alia. It's more about him. It's like he feels insecure, like he's not good enough as Carapace. And, like, does that give him the right to, like, you know, sort of jump to conclusions about Alia? No, but ultimately, like, that's the lesson, right? You know, like, we need these characters to have flaws or else, like, nothing's ever interesting. Whereas people, like, I don't know, it seemed like a lot of people were trashing Nino for doing this, but it's like, he's, you know, he's a human, I guess, in the sense that he's, like, a human character. Like, he has flaws, you know? And, like, I think that that was a nice showcasing of his flaws is that he's very insecure of himself and that manifested into kind of projecting on Alia in a way. They know each other better than you think. No, you can't assume that from just the video. And so then Nino decides that it's time to like tell Adrian why they would know each other better than just on a professional like reporter superhero basis. So what somebody ma did make an interesting point that like Nino was willing to like spill the beans to Adrian at like like in uh in this like rash like sort of moment of like anger and sadness however again like I mentioned earlier like Nino and Alia's secret identity doesn't matter and also like he thinks that Rena Rouge isn't coming back really you know what I mean and so it's like telling him that Alia's Rena Rouge is like a moot point because she'll never be Rena Rouge again and so really all Nino did was tell him that he's care was tell Adrian that Nino is carapace and I'm pretty sure that Hawk Moth knows that already so really it's not a big deal that Nino did this in my opinion like I understand the principle of the fact that he was like willing to tell but Adrian is his best friend you know and so it kind of like he thinks that Adrian's trustworthy enough to know this information right and Hawk Moth already knows so it's kind of like it does it doesn't even matter anymore why not tell Adrian why not tell everyone because like you know what I mean Hawk Moth knows already so who cares um I'm not talking about the video bro I'm talking about something I shouldn't tell you so he doesn't know that he shouldn't tell him but still basically what I mean is like you know like ev it's kind of like everybody knowing that Chloe's Queen Bee like it really just doesn't matter anymore like obviously Chloe shouldn't get the miraculous back because she's kind of selfish right with the miraculous but like in terms of like like just the general identity thing the identities really don't matter for anyone else except for Bun X 
Ladybug and Cat Noir. Like, anyway. Anyway. And so then Nino says, Alia is a superheroine. Or I guess he should say that she was. She's not anymore. She, uh, is Rena Rouge. She was Rena Rouge. But anyway, what? I know what you're gonna say. That is nonsense. How would Nino know? And then he, I love how he turns around so dramatic. I know because I'm a superhero too. I am Carapace. I thought that this was great. Like, this was such a great scene. And so he seems so surprised. And I thought at least that Adrian knew that Nino was Carapace. I don't know why I thought that. But I thought he at least knew that. But he's like, oh my god. Like, what? Like, all the whole time? And I didn't even know. And I wonder if this will prompt Adrian to be like, okay. Like, you know, Alia was a superhero right under my nose. Then you have, like, Nino. Who else is a superhero right under my nose? Like, obviously, like, the reason why he's been thrown off from, like, Ladybug being Marinette is because of that whole thing, right? Of, like, Marinette being multi-mouse and, like, seeing them both together and everything, right? Like, he got thrown off the trail, but I wonder if it'll be, like, maybe Ladybug is someone, you know, closer to me than I realize, I guess. Like, maybe he'll think in that way. I don't know. Anyway, and so, but you both know, right? So look how angry he is. And I'm just like, oh, but Adrian, they're collateral damage. It's not that big of a deal for them to both know. You know each other's secret identities. Of course, Ollie and I don't hide anything from each other until now with this cat noir story. Wait a second, I don't understand. I thought that secret identities must be protected at all times. And I'm like, see, I get it. But I feel like that this stems from a miscommunication. Like, Ladybug did say that, but I feel like that she basically needs to stay, like, Cat Noir, when I said that, there were no other holders. So I meant our identities. Like, that didn't necessarily apply to everybody else, right? Because, like, their identities are, of the temp holders, are a little, like, less valuable, right? So I feel like that, like, that's the thing. That's the difference. And so I feel like that, yes, like, Adrian is like valid in being upset. He's kind of wrong about like making it equivalent to him and Ladybug if I think that's why he's upset because he's like Nino and Alia can know but me and Ladybug can't know each other's identities, right? And so a lot of people said that Ladybug was like hypocritical for this. I just don't think that these situations are equivalent. Like Nino and Alia knowing and then Alia knowing that uh, Marinette is Ladybug are not the same thing and I already talked about that so I'm not gonna talk about that again. If that was the truth you would never tell me this right and so he's like doubting Nino now Ladybug wouldn't agree because he's like he thinks that he knows Ladybug and her rules and everything are you kidding she was the one who gave us uh, our miraculous at the same time right and so that's like uh no and so see I think that what's more shocking to him is the fact that she changed the rules for some people but didn't like tell him about it you know what I mean like I feel like that that's the core issue I feel like that first he's probably like he knows that they can't know each other's identities because it's more dangerous but he's just jealous of the fact that Alia and Nino can know and then on top of that I think that it's just like that she's making big decisions without telling him and so I feel like that it's more of a communication thing and like a trust thing than him just being like surface level angry like oh why do they get to know when we can't know right like I feel like it's more like ladybug why didn't you tell me that you made that decision you know I feel like that's more the problem. Okay, so you are Carapace and she is Rena Rouge. And he's just like, and Ladybug agrees with that. But uh, I still don't think that Alia and Cat Noir are, you know. And I do like something that I did notice as I still think that my Adrian Adrian theory lives. And here's why, okay? So I had this theory. Oh my God, y'all know. Y'all know about the theory. Y'all probably like, Cal, shut the fuck up about the theory. Anyway, I had this theory that like Adrian's whole plot this season is about like the clown side of him is really the cat noir side and that nobody will accept him for that. Kagami won't, his father won't, everything like that. So I had a theory that basically like at some point Adrian would sit down with Nino and be like, Nino, this is how I feel. Nobody accepts me for who I am. Nobody accepts the clown side of me, everything like that. And then Nino would be like, but I accept you, bro. You know, and like that's the whole thing. And like, you know, you know who else would accept you? Marinette. But we haven't seen those episodes yet. We haven't seen episode five and we haven't seen Gabriel Aggress, which is episode nine. So we don't know what's happening, but it would kind of make sense. I think it's episode nine that Gabriel Aggress is supposed to be. But anyway, I had that theory because in Guilt Trip, Nino feels bad about not being able to help Adrian stand up to his father, right? So like, that's the whole thing. 
anyway, with that being said, I think that that may have happened because you see that, like, Adrian is acting like a full range of emotions here, you know? Like, he's, like, still kind of not angry. Not that Adrian has never been angry with his friends, but he's, like, a lot more confrontational than usually, and so I feel like that he at least, even if Nino and him didn't have that conversation, I feel like that the whole thing this season has been Adrian breaking out of the shell of perfection, right? Like, I feel like that that's what he's been doing, and, like, we're seeing it, like, right here. He's acting more like Cat Noir here than Adrian, in my opinion, right? And so I feel like that that's a whole trajectory for the entire season. And why I'm explaining this right now is because there's something that is very important that goes on during this scene. You don't know uh, how Cat Noir is really like, but I know. I am from the team. I know how he acts in real life. Of course, when Ladybug appears, he throws himself to her feet with roses and love confessions, and then Nino does a little, like, kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm not going to try to replicate that. But uh, he always is rejected because Ladybug thinks he's annoying, right? So now Nino's just mad. And like, look at him. He's just like, you, like, you know, Ladybug thinks he's annoying. And like, Nino agrees. And so that's the thing is that Adrian thought that he could be his clown side, his true self with Nino. But Nino has just rejected the fact, like, he's just rejected that. He just said Cat Noir's annoying. But that's who Adrian wants to be, right? And so what I think is happening is that this is all leading up to him feeling like he can't talk about Lady, like, he can't talk to this about Ladybug. Like, I feel like they are going to have a fight, but he can't talk to it in full depth like, with Ladybug. He can't tell Nino, even though Nino has the anti akumatization trial. Like, really, it's two things. Like, after this event, he will tell Nino, despite what Nino had said, right? And maybe that'll be the end of the season, but I don't think so. I think that this is gonna push him, like, his father doesn't understand him, Kagami broke up with him because of secrets, right? Nino thinks that Cat Noir is annoying, but, like, like, Marinette has always treated Cat Noir kinda, like, nicely, and then you also have, during the entire season, you have, like, Marinette's accepting of people, like Zoe. Like, Cat Noir was present for that entire, like, Zoe, you don't need to be like this, you can be whoever you want, I will accept your true self no matter what it is, no matter what other people say. Like, he saw Marinette say that. So I feel like what we're leading up in is, like, he could tell Nino still, and maybe the Nino theory lives, like, Adrian telling Nino he's Cat Noir, but I don't think so at this point, because I feel like despite Nino being like, I was wrong about you, man, and then being like, oh, it's cool, bro, like, I feel like that it's not cool, I feel like that, like, he will still think that Nino thinks he's annoying, right, and so I feel like that he'll remember this, it's like, Adrian will remember that, right, so, who's left over for him to really talk to, right? I feel like it's Marinette because Marinette's accepting of people. She's not judgmental. She, uh, you know, like they've had moments like before where she seems to accept his clown side, especially in season two with the picnic and everything that happened or was that season three? Anyway, all that being said, I think that telling Marinette actually makes a lot of sense at this point and I already made a theory about that but now I'm like yes like I think that that is where we're going because that is basically the only person left that Adrian may feel like he can trust and be his true self with and maybe that'll result in also a love confession but they haven't had that many moments together this season like there was like the the umbrella closing at the pool but I'm pretty sure that that was it like I can't remember them interacting heavily like as Adrian so it would be kind of weird for him to just be like suddenly in love with Marinette but we still are missing half of the season right so like we can get there oh in the elevator but still anyway uh hey pretty lady you look elegant and have great perfume and I'm just like I wonder if that's a quote from something because nobody ever said that uh but anyway and that's it uh in the first mission that I lost I mean Carapace lost he stepped in right so this is where all the insecurity stems from it is Nino feeling like he can't be the hero that Alia needs him to be and now I'm alone and lost the love of my life if I could I would shut his mouth forever right and so I'm just like oh well that's not good and so yeah then you know Hawk Moth is over here to doing his thing. There has to be another explanation, Nino. We will find out, and it's too late. Anyway, and so then we have, like, the whole, you know, I know what you want, Shadow Moth. Don't worry. Their Miraculouses will be the only things left over from them, and so he gets akumatized. I don't understand the Rocketeer part, though, because I really thought that that meant Jagged Stone was getting akumatized, because I thought Rock is in Rockstar. Like, I didn't get that part at all. Anyway, but it could be Rock because, like, Nino is Carapace, and the whole thing is, like, the shell, right? 
right? Like, that's not exactly a rock, but, like, kind of Heart of Stone vibes. And then, like, the tear is obviously the fact that he's, like, crying. And so, I love how he tries to pull, like, an Alia, almost, or I guess, like, a ladybug. Like, uh, you know, Alia, you have to fight it, right? Like, he tried to do the same thing that, like, Marinette did. I don't think he saw that, though. So, like, he doesn't know that Alia broke free from an akumatization, but he tries to do the same thing, and Nino just, like, bitch slaps him, and he falls on the floor, you're not my enemy, Adrian Cat Noiris, and I'm just like, ah, right, I know what you want, but I recommend stopping now, so I feel like that he wanted to tell him that he is Cat Noir, and see if that would, like, break his akumatization, but then Hawk Moth would know, and that's, like, really bad, right, so I don't usually screenshot the, uh, transformations, but what I thought was, like, interesting about this one is that he's so sad, right, like, he's just, like, he sat throughout the entire transformation instead of happy like he normally is. I thought that that was like a nice detail. And so now Ali is telling what happened to Marinette and that was why he showed up in the middle of the night because of the video I posted on the lady blog. He thought I was into him and she's like, oh, Cat Noir, why are you like this, sis? You know? And so I thought that that was pretty funny. But then outside, Cat Noir, you stole Ali from me. <laughs> He's like literally throwing cars at him, which is crazy. But anyways, I, I do think that this costume is kind of ugly, but, like, it was sort of, like, you know, half-assed. Like, Nino getting akumatized is not the most important part of this episode, so I kind of get it. But anyway, I didn't steal anyone. Alia still loves you. Lies. I have proof. And, you know, he's just getting exploded. So keep in mind, Cat Noir gets hit with this tear later, and this tear is enough to, like, like, cut cars in half, destroy streetlights, and then also, like, destroy part of the building. And he just took that hit, right? In his suit, but, like, still. Oh, no, this can't be happening. Oh, Nino, no. We have to stop this fight before they get hurt. And so they're just like, hm, 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 hm. all right, here we can transform in peace, huh? And so then they find Nino's setup, obviously. The remnants of the fight. Alia, don't tell me. But, like, sis, she already explained to you what happened. Like, she know, like, you know what I mean? I think she's being sarcastic, right? And so she's like, what? Of course not. Like, I doubt that Marinette really believed that. I think she was just kind of teasing her or something. It's hard to tell the tone, like, through um, uh, the different language barrier and stuff. If he could hear our conversation, Nino would never have believed I liked Cat Noir, right? Ah, uh, okay, fine, let's not waste any more time. It sounded like that she was almost like, Alia, are you sure you're telling the truth about this? <laughs> right, like, I feel like she was kind of like, mm, like, she seemed unsure for a minute. Oh, that's a weird screenshot. Anyway, I like how they both are able to transform together, and I thought this was, like, really, really cool, and I love the whole projector idea. I thought that this was just, like, so clever and like really cool. And so then Cat Noir is still trying to convince Nino like not to fight him and he throws away his weapon. That doesn't prove anything. And so then he just hits him point blank and like again we saw those tears destroy buildings and he like he falls from the car and he slaps him in the car again. Like that's just fucking brutal. Like Adrian's going through it bro. And so see at the beginning of this season I had said in my theory why would Adrian tell someone that he's Cat Noir? He has no hang ups about being Cat Noir. He has no, like, you know, he's not having, like, a mental breakdown like Marinette did because he's Cat Noir. But now I'm like, maybe he will. Like, maybe he'll be like, you know, my friends hate me. <laughs> like, my friends hate the true side of myself, Marinette. You're, you're the only one that's accepted me, so I want to tell you the truth. You know what I mean? Like, he is going through it. Like, I think now he's definitely going through it, especially with, like, Ladybug maybe not trusting him, or at least that's his perception of it, right? So, like, there's a lot to unpack, you know what I'm saying? You see, I don't want to hurt you. Uh, can we just talk, please? Shut him up forever, but before, grab his miraculous. It's over, Cat Noir, and he's like, don't do that, but it was, like, a little bit of a weak, don't do that. I wonder if he would reveal his identity to Nino if it came down to it, right? You know, uh, especially if he was, like, just about to die and everything. Listen, um, my lucky charm gave me a super modern projector. It will let you hear the sound of the recording that you made. I don't know what Cat Noir said to your girlfriend, but I trust him. But see, that's at least nice that Ladybug is telling Cat Noir that she trusts him. So that's, like, a point for Ladybug's favor. I still think that, you know, Cat Noir and her are gonna have a conversation and stuff, but still. Uh, and so I really like this. Like, I do like this scene. I think it was so cool, uh, for the Mirage and everything. So I'm not going to go through the entire thing just because it's like we we've, we've seen all this, but I do like seeing the side by side of like Alia talking and then like the footage playing. Are you insane? I have a boyfriend and FYI with him it's not just 
like, you know, the small heart, it's the big heart. And so I thought that that was really cool to see her side by side with this. And I love that they're doing that this season um, with both her and then also um, Hawk Moth. I can't believe that I ever doubted you. And I can't believe I chose to do anything other than be with you. So I think, I, I, I don't know what that means exactly. Like, I guess she means like, you know, like, uh, like all the times when she kind of ditched him at the ice cream cart and stuff like that. And so I think that that's what they meant. Um, I'm so sorry, Alia. I was so scared for you. And so I like this that they hug, but then Hawk Mom must be here chilling like, bro, <laughs> you know, cause now he's like regained control. Shadow Moth, you can keep your stupid powers. And so the power of love was enough to break through the akumatization. So that's great. And Hawk Moth's just like, bro, again, seriously? Like, I gotta stop doing this to these two. Like, they're just causing me trouble, bro. But the difference between Alia breaking her akumatization and Nino is that Nino actually got an anti-akumatization charm. And so I feel like that maybe they could trust him a little bit more in the future, right? Like, I feel like that, you know, given the fact that, like, Alia is not, um, uh, prevented from being akumatized because that happened before, uh, Mr. Pigeon and before, like, she was trusted, right? And so Nino actually has, like, an anti-akumatization charm. So I feel like that maybe someone will be, like, that he's more trustworthy, maybe Maybe it will be Adrian. Maybe I'm wrong. And like, even though he said Cat Noir is annoying, like Adrian will reveal his identity to Nino. I don't know. And so yeah, with the love and secrets thing, I feel like that's really interesting because I wonder if that's foreshadowing to what happened with him and Emily. That Emily may have kept something from him and then she started getting sick. And by the time he found out it was because of something she did with the miraculous, it was too late. That's not good. Nino, here's a magical charm. Take it everywhere with you so Shadow Moth can't akumatize you again. Right? So that's good. Like, he can't be akumatized again. So in theory, like, that should be, you know, he can be let in on some more secrets now because he won't tell Hawk Moth, right? I will never let Shadow Moth use my love to manipulate me again. And I like this scene uh, between them. I was wrong about you, dude. I'm sorry. See? And so, like, he at least apologizes. And so I feel like that maybe he could be like, you know telling Nino, but I still feel like my Marinette theory stronger. I do like that one better. Everyone has doubts sometimes, even me, right? And so you can see that he's doubting himself now, and I think that's because, like, he's seen Nino and Alia's relationship, the reasons why it works. You know, they have no secrets between them, so how can he be with Ladybug when they have all these secrets? How can he be in love with Ladybug when he doesn't know who she truly is underneath the mask, right? So I feel like that now he's doubting his feelings for her, and that's why I'm gonna make the theory, hopefully when I feel better again, again, um, about, like, the fact that maybe, like, he'll fall out of love with Ladybug because he realizes he doesn't know her at all, but you know who he does know, Marinette. And, like, somebody was, like, and, like, at the end there, you, you, uh, sound like a Mary, uh, chat shipper, right? Like, Marinette and Cat Noir. Like, no, I mean, like, as Adrian, like, he will pursue Marinette and then tell her that he's Cat Noir, you know what I'm saying? And so, see, she knows that not everything's okay, but he is like, oh, yeah, nothing's wrong, you know? <laughs> right? And so I feel like that he's kind of also responsible for not telling her the truth, right? It's a two-way street. And I think that the irony of the Adrian poster is hilarious because you have Adrian in, like, a black suit. Right? So I feel like that, like, maybe I'm looking into it too much, but I feel like that's foreshadowing to the fact that, like, Adrian is gonna act more like Cat Noir, like, it, towards Marinette, see if she's receptive towards that, and then when she is, he'll think, well, Marinette accepts me for who I am, so I'll tell her my identity, and that'll be the season four cliffhanger. But see, like, look how sad he is. You can tell that he's not okay. This is what I'm gonna use for the thumbnail, I think. Anyway, it's like, falling out of love or something like you know the truth about cat no we'll see what i call it but yeah i think that that's like true i think that that's like so true um that he will start to like feel that way that he feels you know very confused uh he may not like um know how true or legitimate his feelings are does he like ladybug or the idea of ladybug um i can't believe ladybug gave those miraculouses to alia and nino uh and so uh, of course she did she's the guardian i wish plague said something helpful but they are a couple and they know their secret identities, right? So I feel like that again, like, yes, like, Adrian has a right to be upset that he's not kept in the loop, but I feel like that this points towards him being more upset because him and Ladybug can't tell each other their, like, he's like, but they're a couple too and they know their secret identities, why can't we know our secret identities, right? And so I feel like that he's a little upset about that aspect as well. So I feel like they just need to talk about it. Like, yes, like, 
Adrian is allowed to be upset. You're allowed to feel your feelings, you know? But at the same time, like, Ladybug has legitimate reason for these rules to be put into place. So I think he's mostly just jealous. Like, uh, you know, and? So why does that rule exist for us, but they can know? See, because he's bitter about that. Because some people were trying to tell me, like, no, it's just about, like, the fact that he's not kept in the loop with their identities. But, like, no, he's, like, you know, questioning, like, why does that rule exist for us, but they can know each other's identities, right? And this is why I'm, like, this is why I'm salty about Plague being so unhelpful, because this could have been a great time to explain, like, hey, the gravity of your miraculous is more than theirs. But I'm sure that Lady bug's gonna tell him that like in a couple episodes but I feel like that he kind of knows but he's just mad right now like it's kind of like a balance because on one hand I'm like Adrian you should fucking know this but on the other hand I'm like but maybe it's one of those things where you know the logical reasoning but you're just upset because like in you're allowed to be upset right so I feel like they just need to talk you know, like, I just feel like they need to have a conversation and then everything will be fine. And so Marinette apologizes for causing trouble between, um, uh, her and Nino. And then she says, do you trust me? I trust you. And so, she, uh, she decides to tell him the truth, especially because of the anti-accumatization charm. Like, I feel like that this is fine, right? So Alia says, I'm still Rena Rouge, but now I'm in hiding. That's why Ladybug didn't want me to tell anyone. Uh, but why are you telling me if you're not supposed to tell anyone? Did Ladybug agree with this? I can't hide this from you because I love you, Nino, and we don't have any secrets, right? And so I like to see, like, this, like, hug and everything at the end. I do wonder, though, oh my god, like, imagine if the big twist of this episode or something, like, not just this episode, but, like, just in general, was that this Nino is not real. Like, what if it's still Hawk Moth acting like Nino? You know? Like, what if that's, like, I don't think it is, but imagine if it was. Like, that would be crazy. Like, that would just be, like, insane. And I feel like they know too many of their, like, like, oh, to play, like, Super Pinguino and stuff. Like, I feel like, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Senti Nino would be doing everything. Like, you know, going to school. Like, does Hawk Moth really have time for that? <laughs> right? To, like, pretend to go to school as this teenager. But imagine what a twist that would be if this Nino isn't real and the real Nino is like kidnapped somewhere like that'd be fucked up anyway I don't think that's the case guys but that being said you have uh you know this end card scene where uh Cat Noir is like looking towards actually y'all can't even see the moon for how my pictures uh cropped for some reason but yeah he's looking at the moon and a lot of people think that's related to like Cat Blanc and everything especially like with the moon stuff in there but I feel like that he's just like he's soul searching you know like this was a, a season for both characters to discover who they are and like kind of away from any relationship and I feel like that Marinette been doing that but like so has Adrian and he's really thinking about who he is too and is he's really unsure so I feel like the next couple episodes I feel like they're gonna have a conflict but they're gonna resolve it he's gonna understand why they can't tell each other their identities because you know it's more weight like it's just more important but then at the end he's gonna be like yeah my lady like I understand why we can't tell each other our identities but I think that that means that like we can't be together like I need to get over you you know like I feel like that's where it's gonna lead and then he'll fall for Marinette as Adrian that's what I see happening so let me know what y'all think uh thanks for sticking with me I know I sound kind of weird I don't know what's going on with me that this is just how I woke up today and so I'm glad that I was able to get through it though because I did want this out as soon as possible for y'all uh to watch and so I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one bye